Hello, and welcome to the evil lair, where you learn how to pencils and sometimes a build, and uh, defeat the good guys with lots of evils and arrows. Welcome, Reaper fans. Today we have Viridius. Uh, this is the Bones miniature from Reaper Miniatures. I'll give you a 360. I have placed this miniature on a 160 millimeter base boss base. I've already added some gravel to the base, so now I'm going to do some primer coats. Now, Viridius is going to be green. I'm going to give the base a brown coat of paint, I think, and I will come back and show you what I'm going to do next. Today we'll be concentrating on the body and the dry brushing and highlights, or I'll show you how to do with the teeth, tongue, the eyes. The tops of the wings will be the green, be a lighter shade on the bottom. Absolutely, this is a very nice dragon. I like the pose, um, everything looks really nice. I did have to have to fill in some gaps through so using the Vileco putty. There was a few gaps around the neck and the joints, but nothing really major, so still turns out a very nice miniature. So I'll come back once I get the primer coats on. So we've got the base coat on our dragon now. I've got a nice green and I went for Rhinox Hide for the base. Now we're going straight to the dry brushing. Do the dry brushing first and that will save us from making a mess later on. So what I've got here is Naga Green and I've got some Alien Goo. Now I'm going to just use these two colours, blend them together and just work around doing my dry brushing. So as I showed you many times before, we're going against the scales. I'm going to take my Naga Green, take off the paint and go straight into giving the effects I want along the scales. And instantly gives a lovely highlight. I'm going across the whole of the miniature and I'm going to use a lighter, lighter colors to bring out the scales in certain parts of the miniature. Again, very fast and easy. It's a beautiful colour. What we're going to do with the wings is we shall wet blend the wings, the underside of the wings, using a much lighter cream colour. What we're doing here is just get quick, quickly going over the whole of the body where I want the highlights. Feet. Like, I, like I said before, we're going over the areas where also you have a light source, so you want it lighter on the highest parts of your miniature. And this applies to all your miniatures. Whenever you do any miniature, if you think of where the light source is, they're normally directly above, and you highlight the areas like this arm here, for example, you'd have a light source a higher and it brings out more of the colour and then it would go darker underneath where the shadows lie. Oh, I sound like Mordor. Where the shadows lie. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now I'm gonna add some of this alien goo now. It's quite a strong colour so we want to mix that in. Again, very lightly on this one. Just want to bring out 
the scales. Don't need a lot. Not on this one. Just highlighting the edges. And I'll see what it's like when it dries. If the colour is too bright, I can tone it down with a green ink wash. But I am actually liking this. I might use a light brown ink wash. Just that bring out the bring out a little bit more of the detail but we'll see I will have to come back I won't wait until the paint is fully dried to get an idea of the shading I want for this mini but that's about all I need for my dry brushing so far so I'll just go over the there we are a tiny bit on the feet there Oh, yeah, just to bring out all the scales. It's there, yeah. Okay. That's good. I will wait for that to dry, and then I'll come back and we'll go on to the next stage. I'm quite happy how this is uh, turning out now. Um, I've added a light uh, brown ink wash to the uh, scales, and it's uh, brought out some lovely shades. I think that looks really nice. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a little bit of the wings. Now what I'm using for this, I'm going to be wet blending the wings. And I am using Naga Green and Maggot White. So I'm going to start with the Naga Green, the tips, and then moving down with the Maggot White. Let's see if I can get this in to the... There we go. So I'm just starting off with a medium sized brush. And we're going straight to the tips of the rings and putting in the green naga. Now I'm going straight into the maggot white and we are going to blend that in with the other green. Just add in a little bit more maggot white so it gets lighter towards the ends of the wings. It's very simple. Just keep on adding a little bit more maggot green, a little bit more maggot green, like so. what happens is the naga green that is on your brush that will slowly disappear and turn into pure maggot white towards the end and it gives a lovely effect like I said before, you just let the wet blending do the work for you. And as you can see, it goes from dark and it goes lovely and right to the tips, nice and bright. Now I'm going to do that to all the wings. I'll show you once more how I do this. I'll take the paint off. First of all, I'm going straight into the Naga Green. That one goes at the tip of the wing. 
like so. And I'm going straight into the white. I'm not taking the paint off my brush. Um, I'm leaving the Naga Green on there. So what happens is you're using the paint that's on the brush and it's coming off the brush and getting lighter and lighter as we add more and more maggot white. So as the maggot white gets brighter, the naga green disappears, leaving a whiter effect. Going straight back into the maggot white. Back into the maggot white. So you're just loading the brush with maggot white. Because you've still got the naga green on the brush and it's slowly coming away, it's giving you that lovely effect and it's getting brighter and brighter towards the ends of the wings as the paint comes away from the brush. We'll just keep on adding more maggot white and it becomes brighter and brighter. There we go. And that's the other one done. So what I'll do is I will finish off, as you can see again, darker going into light. Dark going into light. Once that's fully dried as well, it'll give a lovely effect. So I'll finish off these wings and I'll come back and show you what I do next. The miniature is coming on really well now. I've dry brushed the base using some nice greens and some stone effects on the highest areas there. Um, I have also added some more shading to the scales and across the head giving another gradient of different colours. Um, I'm going to paint all the claws uh, um, black so they'll get done now with the eyes what I've done there I've used maggot white for the eyes maggot white is a very nice color it's a slight green to the white so because the dragon is green the the eyes they'll have a slight hint of green which uh, will work well for the eyes um, I'll go round the eyes with mossy green and I'll give the highlight and darkness around the eyes I need and then I'll give a black line through the eyes to give the dragon's eye like a cat's eye. Um, the mouth I will be using some pink again. Um, the teeth I shall be doing with a skeleton bone. Um, and then we're, we're almost done. Um, there's a few more details to pick out but um, I've finished all the wings. Let me show you the wings. Uh, they come out very nicely. Um, this uh, miniature is a bit strange in the fact that the arm goes back like so and the wing then reverses itself. So what I had to do was go dark to light on each side of the wing. So it kind of matched in, um, but it worked out very well. So all the wet blending came out very nicely. As you can see, you've got the dark greens going into the light green. And this is the maggot white too. Like I say, the maggot white has got a slight green hint to it. So it works really well with green. Um, so what I'll do is I'll come back and I will show you the finished miniature. Here's the finished Viridius in all its glory. And it came out lovely. As you can see with the head there, the eyes, I added some gloss. Let me just show you what gloss varnish I use. Um, I used um, Army Painter Gloss Varnish. It's uh, very good and it brings out all the wet effects around the eyes, on the teeth and the tongue. This was a really nice miniature to paint. Let's 
show you again. And of course, all the wings are finished and wet blended. Um, I added a little bit more highlights to the scales. I went over them with a brown ink wash and then I removed some of the ink wash with a cotton bud and then I just highlighted again with my greens. It's like all the scales, you know, you're working from the dark to the light and uh, the same with the tail and going up the spine which is very nice. You've got a lovely effect going all the way up the spine on the scales. So this is Viridius. Let me show you what's going to be painted for next week. Next week we have Mud Gullet, another huge Reaper Bones special. This is a monster of a miniature. Again on another 160mm base boss, round base. And this is what we'll be painting for next week. So I hope you join me. If you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, you can support me on Patreon and everybody's names will be added to the credits of all my videos. All the links are below. So until next time. Okay, you can all go now, please. Leave me alone!